Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Jean Grey, aka the Phoenix, of course. And I am beyond happy to have this figure after I modified, loosely, I'm using the term modified, her shoulders and biceps, just because if you have the Rogue, I had to do the same thing for her, I had to heat up her arms and then trim down like the detents in there because it was so gummy to where if you just tried to even look at it for too long, they were gonna break. So I had to heat her up and completely shave those down. But now that I've done that, her biceps move fine and so do her arms, which is really nice. So the figure's actually, you know, able to be posed around and played with, which is good. So that's just something to look out for that I wanna get out of the way really quick. So out of the box, she was not play and pose ready. But now after doing this, and I highly recommend it, um, just, you know, heating her up, pop her apart, trim those little pieces down and just do it, you know, a little bit at a time. You don't want to do too much to where the shoulders and biceps will just fall right off, you know? So just keep that in mind. And like I said, I'm really happy to have this figure. I have the original VHS one, which is not, it's not bad, but it also sucks at the same time. You know, like the, sco the sculpted parts on it aren't too terrible like if I bring in kind of what's left of her real quick okay I don't know where her hand is but this figure wasn't bad by any means like the hair is great on it that face sculpt is good and all that stuff she had like the sculpt details and everything it wasn't bad by any means but this figure absolutely blows it out of the water and I so far have loved Jean in X-Men 97 I know that technically spoiler alert by the way for the third episode because I am filming this after watching that episode so if you don't want to hear anything about it skip like 15 seconds into the into the video but obviously you know the most of what we saw of Jean was technically speaking Madeline Pryor but it also was you know technically Jean at the same time you know it's convoluted clone stuff but I I loved seeing the stuff that Jean could do it's this series is just so awesome so far and I just can't wait to watch more of it and I'm gonna be so sad whenever this first season ends and I will be foaming at the mouth waiting for the second one but without further ado, let's just get into what Jean comes with. Here we have her ponytail head, which looks so good. She looks absolutely beautiful. She's got the little bit of a logo type thing on the top of her visor thing, whatever you want to call it, her little helmet thing. Her ponytail is actually removable. And I did put a little bit of glue on this um, and let it dry because it was kind of popping out really easily for me. But it's rotating and all that stuff. It's able to... It's just a peg, you know? And thankfully, it's not like a hinge or anything like that, which would be kind of ugly for the hair, but it looks really good. And I just absolutely love that. But then she also comes with a hair down look, which I don't think this looks bad by any means. I really like the simplistic yet detailed animation style of the hair and how well they translated that into figure form. But this looks really good. I do like the ponytail head more because it just offers a way more articulation and range and everything. Plus this doesn't sit down all the way. Um, I don't know why. I think there's like an air bubble in there from how the head has to go on there, but it looks great. I like it. Then as for hands, you can see she has a, you know, power effect or, you know, a crisp high five, whatever you want to do with that. But then this one is for her putting on her temple, you know, to use her powers and whatnot. So you can have her have the hand up here. And thankfully, since she is double jointed and pinless, which is just awesome, you can have her get the full using her power potential going on with it. Then she also comes with an open hand for the other side, which is really good. It looks ugly on the inside here, but on the back it looks really good because of the, you know, blue joint and all that. It just doesn't look too great on the hand. It's not, you know, as bad as it could be, but it's just something to point out. And then she also comes with one fist. She doesn't come with an alternate one, unfortunately, but I guess you could maybe swap them out with somebody else's. You might just have to paint a little bit of blue on there or something. And then as for detail on Jean, we already talked about her head sculpts and I really think that they're both beautiful head sculpts. Like I said, I do prefer the ponytail look. It is, you know, obviously more iconic to the show, but she also has the articulation in the ponytail to give her just a lot more like, posability options. Because just standing like this in a vanilla pose, you can have her with the ponytail and it just looks, you know, really dynamic and I like that. Everything on her is entirely new sculpt. The From the gauntlets to the belt to the legs, all of it. And my biggest gripe that I had going into this figure was the fact that it looked like she wasn't going to have much in the... The way of range for her hips but she actually does which we'll talk about more in articulation but I fully expected her legs to just have to go out like that when you do it but you really don't have to this figure is so much better than a lot of people give it credit for and I hope that this video coming out right after the third episode maybe a lot more people will watch this and see just how good this figure actually is she has the x logo which looks really nice on her belt here as for the back the the blues and the orangish yellow type thing that she has you know for her whole costume 
look really nice. There's no real paint misses or anything like that, which is really good. Her boots and all that stuff are sculpted. Same with the feet and everything. All looks great. It's all pinless, double jointed, all that good stuff. And now on articulation, she does have the, what we're used to now, with the just standard kind of ball at the top, the dumbbell joint. So without any modifications, because I haven't made any yet, her head can go up that far, can go that far down. She's got a little bit tilt and rotation, but obviously after modifying and stuff, she's gonna be able to look up all the way and all that with no problem. And then of course her ponytail is articulated as well. So you can count that for the articulation. She has the Stormtrooper type shoulder cap things like we saw with the Black Series. So those can rotate all the way around with her arm, which is really nice. They're not sculpted like the VHS one, which is really good. She has bicep swivel, her arms go out that far, which is really good. Double jointed elbows, as we talked about before. All of her hands go back and forth and then of course rotate. As for her waist joint, which I, they did a really great job on this. She can go that far forward and that far back. And honestly, you would be able to modify this and give her more range, no real issue. She's got a little bit of tilt and of course rotation as well. I know a lot of people were very upset that they gave her this articulation point, but I think they executed it very well, and I would love to see them continue to do that on figures that have a belt like this as they can for the female figures. So, or, hell, even give us, you know, a dumbbell joint at the, like, just below the chest and then at the waist as well to give us kind of like a Mafex style type thing going on. That'd be cool, too. As we already talked about, her hips, they can go that far forward, which is really nice. Can go not far back at all, but her legs can go out that far. She has a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees that go back that far. No boot swivel or anything, but her feet can go back that far, up that far, and of course, ankle pivot. And now onto some size comparisons. Here she is next to some fellow wave mates in Scott and then the Goblin Queen, which I did swap out Madeline's feet with just normal, basic black feet from a random female Marvel Legends figure. And now she's actually a lot closer in height to Jean because before she was almost as tall as Scott, if not just a little bit taller because of those heels, and she also couldn't stand. And also after episode three, we know now that this suit for Madeline is inaccurate because they actually did give her the skin tone on her legs too, which, I don't know, there kind of looks like some paint fade right there. Maybe they painted over that. Maybe there's some skin tone under there. That'd be kind of cool, but I doubt it. And then here she is next to the VHS version of, technically the same version of Jean, because obviously X-Men 97 is a continuation of the animated series. But then here she is next to Wave 1's version of Storm, and I think these two look great together. I think that they just, they really complement each other in every aspect. And then here she is next to the Wave 1 Wolverine, which she looks, you know, she's a little bit taller than him, which is good. So I think that works very well. And then, of course, here she is next to the Dark Phoenix from the Retro Wave from a couple years ago. And I think these look really great together as well. Overall, I really enjoy this figure. Like I said, you probably will have to, if you're unlucky like I am, or if it just ended up being that way for all of them, I'm not sure, you will have to heat up her shoulders and her biceps and trim those pegs down so she can actually have some more movement in there. Otherwise, they will, you know, eventually have that stress on the plastic and undoubtedly snap on you, which you do not want to happen. So, but after being able to do that and giving her the smooth range of movement and all that stuff like I did with Rogue as I talked about earlier I just I love this figure the the long-haired head sculpt option is really cool I'm never going to use it because just the ponytail one she offers a lot more range and the articulated ponytail is really cool but she looks so good with Scott and Wolverine and the rest of the 97 shelf and I just I couldn't be happier with it I'm loving the show, I'm loving these figures, and I just cannot wait for them to make a Wave 3, hopefully. Maybe we'll get, you know, Beast and Jubilee and anybody else they want to make, honestly. Give me them all, I'll take them. I just, I love this show, and the figures are complementing it so well. So, yeah, that's going to do it for me, and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.